Honestly, now you're just wasting your time. Davenport was at least a century old. What a waste. Chumps like you. Guys just keep showing up. They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection. Tango! 
need all the help you can get. We're three of the world's strongest heroes, right? Does that seem like this should be easier? I've punched through scroll star cruisers that went down faster. Something's up. Yes, Hydra has clearly raised their game. I have a terrible suspicion as to how. Didn't it? This is I hope this is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. Something. Someone. Gozer? Lilith. Mother of demons. Harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme. Be silent. Be still. What just happened? Ow. Be gone. No! A fellow daughter of Transia. Remind me of my own beloved. In virtute Vishanti! Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the Midnight Sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. What the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... Enough!
You're standing on my flowers. Oh, been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters after all. <laughs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. Spells are concerned, I've seen worse, particularly on myself. Tony, come on, it's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. 
Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade, be nice. Always am. burns with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams it was always empty. Sense. I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer, I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A dampier. Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. You appear quite versed in my history, Dampier. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter. Child of Lilith. Last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both led the Knights of Wondagore against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. something hunter not sure if you remember me but we met briefly before i'm the witch who called me back from the grave told you or nico but neither works and this is robbie ray is <laughs> oh man never thought i'd be standing next to you got quite a rep i mean caretakers told us stories that's eliana Privet. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So... Welcome home. I guess we... I never left. <laughs> right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know, the Abbey. 
basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Show's about to begin. Caretaker's home for wayward sorcerers, scientists, and slayers. Meh, sounds like something Doctor Strange would come up with. Taking a big risk with your chosen one. No signs of muscle atrophy. You seem pretty healthy for a reanimated corpse. You sure you're not a time-traveling robot? I give it about five minutes before Tony starts in with his ye old joke material. Sorry, Hunter. Never should have taken him to medieval times. I must admit, Hunter, having studied the tomes and read of your exploits in the past, it had never occurred to me that we might someday face Lilith together. Easy for you to... I, I wonder if you ever ran into any of my predecessors back in the day. We, um, uh, tend to stand out. I too was recruited as a child into a calling of power and violence. So far, it has worked out well for me. If I were you, I'd probably be looking for a hot shower after spending 300 years in a tomb. You might see a few familiar faces around the Abbey, but mostly you'll find a lot of powerful strangers wondering just what they've gotten themselves into. Just be yourself, and you'll be fine. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so, speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony, that's, uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the dragon mother? You tell us, kid. You are the... Chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. It must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. A lot Whoa, what kind of network you running there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges, bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force pushing against the wards. Stephen, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. 
Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. Alco. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. Nothing about any of this is easy, Blade. Yeah? Tell that. With everything going on right now. Even given the fluctuations in the astral spectrum... Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time, as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. I understand the urgency. Your apprentice is in grave danger, yes? Wanda is no mere apprentice. She is the Scarlet Witch, one of the strongest magical practitioners I have encountered. But she hasn't channeled such power on her own since... Never mind. One crisis at a time. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. We should hurry. As much as I'd love to hear a first-hand account of your exploits, time is of the essence, I'm afraid. I can't help but feel a tinge of impatience. It is my home under sea. About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... well... I'll just let her show you. So young, of course. You think this? 
This is crazy. Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. Get me out of here! That's a neat trick. Impressive. The gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, my mother at work here. That's one hell of a move. Hell, hard 
out to me. I feel her struggle. I need to concentrate and... Ah! And I won't be doing that again. It won't make a difference. Interesting tactic. That's the spirit. Prepare yourself. for Hydra. Never seen that before. That's a neat trick. to be wrecked.
I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider, we see. of your mother's children so chatty. Thankfully, no. may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. <laughs> fill our belly with your tasty fear. I shall fill your belly with my plate. <laughs> fragile, but not as fragile as you. Mother blesses us with power. Mother 
blesses us with strength, we protect. And rewarded with your meat. And to think Lilith was a vegetarian. all coming back to me. The light is on our side. Greatly appreciated. The light will carry you on with let us see if they have an answer for this. We will peel back your flesh! This creature fights with her strength. equal strength. Extra touchy today? We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs> Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Oh, of course! I see it now. The look! Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. 
It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... The, the Sanctum? Or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest.